Hello, thank you for joining me. We are working on a ocean life painting today. We're using Santorini stone, mechanical pencil, Derwent ink tents pencils. We are using Ohuhu water brushes, Uniball white gel pen, UM153. Um, I believe that's it. And Tully Art fine liners. So I sketched this out on paper to see where I wanted to place everything and now I am just working on doing my first sketch just so I have a good placement. So I have my butterfly fish and my puffer fish and then we're going to do some coral. Doing the puffer in kind of a cartoony type of style. Thought it was really cute. I found a really good reference on Pinterest of this little cartoony uh, puffer fish and I fell in love with it. So let's pick out some Derwent Ink Tense pencils and we're going to use this Ohuhu water brush. Of course, I'm going to do an ocean background um, with ocean colors, so I didn't want to leave his little puffy belly white. Um, so we're just going to do a water reflection and add some blue. And then we're going to go back, add a little bit of white. This part's fun. We're going to do a yellow top body. And of course, he's got to, got to have some great lips. <laughs> then we're going to go in with our um, brown Derwent and make some spots on the top. Just adding a little bit of water to the pencil tip. And that gives me a pretty nice burst of color. Let's do our outline all around the whole thing. And I know if you are on the plane ride, you're thinking, hey, wait, your background is not painted. And that's right. I'm going to be doing that on last step. Um, if you do not have Thule Art Fine Liners, get yourself some. They're absolutely incredible. They're available on Amazon. So there's our little puffer guy, and let's add some little white spikies on the uh, lighter side of his little spikes there, just to give him some accent. And there we go. So we're going to work on the butterfly fish. Um, there's a lot of different varieties. The one that I found that I enjoyed was all pink, or excuse me, all yellow, um, with a little gray spot near his eye. I thought it was really cute. So this is the one that I uh, decided to work on. But if you're doing the train ride with us, you will see that there are tons of different butterfly fish. Some have stripes. They're really cool. So let's do yellow. I did a little bit of a lighter in the center, which isn't very apparent with this lighting. Um, and I'm just doing my orange for the stripes. I added a little bit of an orange blend into the back just to meet the stripes and then I'm just lightening lightly going over my lines so they're not super dark a couple little accents I think this guy's really cute there we go and now it's coral time here's one that I was working on that still is not finished yet we're gonna do a similar type Coral. Um, of course, as to not make the video very long, I'm speeding this up quite a bit. Normally, you'll see me lightly use Derwent Inktense pencils. This time, I'm going a little bit heavy because we're doing a hard edge line. Is that proper terminology? I don't know. That's just kind of what I say. <laughs> okay. So we have our line. We went a little bit heavier with our pencil this time, and we're just going to drag our water brush on one side for that coral effect. So we're making it kind of translucent, uh, as most coral are. And this is scarlet pink in the Derwent Ink Tense, and I think that's a perfect coral color. So remember, I'm keeping um, all of my brush on one side to get that drag effect. And then let's do our Thule Art fine liners. I like number three. What's your favorite number? And that's always my pick. Um, we're going right on the right side of our dark line, right where we were uh, touching the uh, water brush. And also, you want to touch that line, but you don't want to smush it. Don't go over it. Just reach your brush up there and touch it, and then that's how you get that dark edge. 
All right, and we're super speedy here just so you don't have to sit through a uh, long video. So I'm just going in with a bunch of different blues and let's marry those together as we go along. The Derwent pencils are really amazing. This is where they shine for me and this is my favorite use of them is blending like a sky or an ocean background. It's kind of really neat what you can do and I went and sped through that so you guys didn't have to sit through it. My last step here add a little bit of a highlight to the light side of the coral. And of course I'm pinched for time this week, so I didn't get to elaborate much on this one, but it was tons of fun. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I hope you paint along and I hope you're enjoying our plane rides and train rides and all the fun events that we do together. Have fun painting. Thank you.